Hello viewers, yes it's Peter Elga Photography again here. This, this time I'm going to talk about two Olympus compact film cameras of the XA series. Now I'm very lucky, I've got two. I've got the XA1, or just the XA, and the XA2. And they come in a presentation box like this, with the instructions. So you have to gently take it out of the box and then read the instructions before you do anything otherwise you can end up breaking things and these were both donated the top one was donated by widow lady to my boy and he's got some nice results which I'll show you and this one I've only had about a couple of weeks from an old gent now the very famous Olympus XA series have a fixed focal length 35mm lens and they're both the, both the same it's a um, no it's not actually no this one's a 2.8 that's a 2.8 Zico that's right I just noticed that and this one's a 35mm 3.5 Zico so they're not, not exactly the same now the X a, which is this one, is a rangefinder camera, and you turn this little lever at the bottom here to focus. Having looked through the, the viewfinder here, and you get coincident image rangefinder. So when you get an image of two an object, and then it coincident like that, then it's in focus. It's got a very small throw from minimum focus to infinity. Now the minimum focus on this is 2.8 feet. This is in, it must be an export model because it's in feet, not meters. There's four feet. Eight feet is for sort of zone focusing and then infinity. Well the XA2 doesn't have a rangefinder. You have to set it to distances on here. Now that is for head and shoulder close-ups, but you can't do really close up, closer than four feet. This is for medium distance there. And the mountain is for landscape work, infinity. So what's good about these XA cameras? They're very sharp lenses. They're Zuko lenses, very sharp. Now, this one has a film loaded. So I'll talk a bit about the XA2 first because I can open the back and show you that. This has no film loaded. Now, whenever you load a film, you have to set the sensitivity of, that you want to use of the film on this little knurled ring here. So at the moment, it's set to 200 ASA. Now in the my eyes are so bad. Now it's 100. Sorry about that, folks. You can gently push it with a finger there, but it's not easy. Look, it's not easy to change that. And you don't want to use a metal screwdriver because it's only plastic. But if you've got a 200 out of date film, I downrate it. So I put it in between 200 and 100 here, about 125. That's the beauty of these. You can downrate your film. And then for loading it, you have to close the cover and pull up the little lever here. And if you're lucky, the back opens. Now, what you've got to check, are these light seals along here good? This one looks like it could do with a bit of repair. The light seal in here, yes, that's going a bit bit rotten. I'll have to do that shortly. We'll, we'll show you about loading the film. You put in, you can do it this way around. You can push it in there first. Hold your thumb and then bring that across like that. Then drop that into there and then wind, make certain that you are engaged the Cogs. Press with your thumb, not to give them te 
tension so it don't slip out the cogs. Now that's going okay now. And close the back. See the back shut now. Wind it till it stops. Then you can fire one frame. It's on S for start. Then you don't have to wind it through too many times because you can get extra frames. It's like a very small, very small throw here. Very small indeed. Make certain as you wind that this rewind knob is moving. Yes, that's moving. And then when you want to rewind your film, you press in the button here. Yeah. And then you the usual rewind system. I'll see if I can open the back to show you. This is only a dummy film, it's been stored badly, so I can't use it even though I use a lot of out-of-date film. Yeah, it's going back now. But first of all, you've got to check your camera's good before you load your film even. And how do you do that? Well, you put in two 1.5 volt silver oxide batteries into that. And if you want to use the flash, you've got to put in a double A 1.5 volt battery there with the correct way up with the positive up if you want to use the flash because that uses a separate battery so I've got two batteries in there and then you've got to check your batteries you do that by pulling this little battery check lever pull it round and watch a little red thing on here and it beeps and a little red light comes on as if by magic which means the batteries are good so you can go ahead and start shooting. But you must remember to focus the distance that you want every time. And it's not perfect on the close-up. You can get out of focus photographs. But it is a semi-wide angle lens. It's a 35mm semi-wide angle. Now how do you use the flash? You set an ASA in the flash, roughly equivalent to the film, the tiny little lever here, you've got to have good fingernails to do it now, that's on 100 now. You can only set two automatic ones, you can set 400, and you can set 100, in the middle it's full power flash. You can use full power flash outside in daylight. Now I've got, say I've got out of date film loaded, I would put it to 100. But then it's not very powerful at all. You can't photograph in a concert hall with this little built-in flash. It's not powerful enough. But you move this little lever here to the word flash. Oops. And a little tiny flash thing pops up. And this is the charging unit. And when you get a red light in there, you can press the release and the flash comes out from here. So that is the indicator for charging. Now what is the difference between that one and the XA? To get a flash on the XA you have to push this lever up to the word flash here. I, there we are. Then the charging unit pops up there. There's no, because at the base here the little lever here is for your focus. You've still got your ASA setting in the same place and I've got it set this has got 800 ASA film loaded which is very old so I'm rating that at 250 ASA because I want to use up the film and test pictures have been in the fridge for years so you push that to flash and it pops up now with the XA you can control the exposure more than the XA2. You've got a choice of apertures here. It's on F8, it's on 5.6 with a little tiny white lever here, little point on the lever. It has maximum aperture 2.8 because it's a 28 lens. It goes down to F16 and F22, very small apertures, which really you don't ever use because you might get diffraction from using a small aperture. But when you choose an aperture, you look through the viewfinder and 
in there is an indication of what shutter speed it will give you. Now the fastest speed it goes up to is 500th of a second. So if you've got a fast filming and you're in bright light and you stick it to 2.8, it will come out vastly overexposed. But there is a warning sign. You get a little red flashing indicator in there to warn you that it's going to be overexposed. So you've got to be careful with choosing your aperture in daylight for according to how sensitive is your film. So I can't show you much more on the XA because, because I've got a film loaded. Um, if you want to use a self timer, you pull the little lever all the way around. Here we are to, to, to the word self timer. And having wound on, wound on, like that, you press it in there and it beeps. And then the shutter will go, hopefully, in about 10 seconds. I'm still waiting. Come on, Mr. Olympus. There it goes. I heard the shutter go. That is the delayed action. Now we've got some other things to do. I can show you some pictures taken with now. Because this was taken on the XA2 by my boy. A very good little photographer. But now, of course, he uses all these gadgets like all these teenagers do. Not interested in cameras anymore. Here's one of his sister and, then, and his auntie's dog. But you see, it's not pin sharp because he was with, it was under the minimum distance at which the camera will focus. It's not pin sharp. But you can see some catch lights because he used fill in flash. There was a lot of shadowing on that. So the beauty of that XA series, you can use a flash. But further away, there's some quite good shots he's done at South End on Sea. Oh, here we are, all on out of date colour film. Then we went to Spalding in Lincolnshire for the Flower Festival. And there's some he took there on the Flower Festival at Spalding. And these, these are quite good for a nine year old boy, I think, with a donated camera. There's a couple more here. They're all on the XA2 with a 35mm 3.5 Zuko lens. And I think you agree that it's quite sharp results when it's used correctly. So there we are folks. That's a little quick rundown on two of the Olympus XA series. Thanks for watching.